Hey guys, very good afternoon. If you have clicked on this video, then you're somebody who's suffering from knee pain and you've tried a lot of stuff and now you're looking at a knee replacement or you are one of my patients who is going to undergo a knee replacement and you want to know the details. So this is a video for any of you who wants to learn more about a knee replacement. Now, we will be handling five questions in this video. One, what is a knee replacement? Two, who needs a knee replacement? What is the process? What is the healing time? And how fast can you get back to normalcy? So question number one, what is a knee replacement? Generally, when you get old, you have arthritis. Arthritis is inflammation of the joint. When you have inflammation of the joint continually over a long period of time, what happens is parts of the joint start wearing off, like the cartilage, like the ligaments, and each and every structure which helps in moving the joint. If we identify arthritis in an early stage, that is before the limb, the lower leg starts to get bent. It is known as a varus deformity. In early stages of arthritis, you will not have a varus deformity, but as arthritis progresses, you could have a varus deformity. And if you have a varus deformity, then any non-surgical or minimally invasive options might not work for a long time. And I would have advised you to go in for a knee replacement. So, a knee replacement is when we replace the surfaces which are completely worn out with the ligaments which are worn out. Sometimes we might spare the ligament known as the posterior cruciate ligament if your arthritis or the wear and tear on the ligaments is not very significant. And we change the worn out parts with metal. We use titanium, sometimes we use oxinium, and sometimes we also use new alloys which look like gold and they have a longer lifetime. To summarize, question number one, the answer is a knee replacement is when we replace the worn out surfaces of your knee with fresh metallic surfaces and instead of the ligaments which are in between the two surfaces of the bone, we give a polyethylene insert which reduces the wear and tear and also gives a lot of cushioning to the knee replacement. Now, coming to question number two, who needs a knee replacement? We have covered a lot of that in question number one. So anybody who has a mechanical deformity with knee pain which is existing for a very long time which is not responding to physical pharmacological and other non-surgical methods of treatment for example we have medication we have physiotherapy we have exercises we have hyaluronic acid injections, PRP injections, bone marrow injections. We have arthroscopic repair. We have cartilage grafting. If you have tried all this and you have something known as a varus deformity and your pain is very, very significant, you're suffering in spite of all these non-surgical and non-knee replacement treatments, then knee replacement is the answer for you. Question number three, what would I actually do in a knee replacement? So if you take the knee, there are three parts, the femur, the tibia, and the petella, which is the kneecap. So first, what we do is we use a jig and we remove exactly the amount of bone, which is worn out. We do not remove too much. We do not remove too less, exactly the amount which is required and we remove it from the femur, from the tibia, and we replace the removed regions with perfectly fitting metal implants. And in order for us to correct the alignment, as I told you earlier, if you have a varus deformity or a bent knee, knee replacement is the only option. So we use a lot of technical jigs in order to make sure that the alignment of the knee is right, so that when a knee replacement is done, you're able to walk with perfect alignment without any issues. So that is what is done in a knee replacement. And also, as I said earlier, a polyethylene insert is placed in between the two metal surfaces so that wear and tear is also less. 
coming to point number four, which you will be really interested in. How much time does it take for you to recover from a knee replacement? So knee replacements have become really advanced now because we have advanced methods of healing where we give uh, biological healing cells into the uh, joint after a knee replacement into the ligaments, into the areas which we operate on. And we also use a lot of advanced ultrasound guided nerve blocks so that you don't have pain. Patients generally start walking with the support of a walker on the day of the surgery or on the next day. Most of my patients walk without a walker, without any pain, without support on day four to day seven. If you're having a bilateral knee replacement, I don't do a single sitting bilateral knee. We do a knee replacement on day one and then on day three or day four. You will be walking after the first knee replacement. And once you're walking and you're able to go to the toilet, whether it is day three or day four, then we do the next knee. And the next knee will also start moving within the same evening. And you can start walking the next day after we do your second knee replacement. The physiotherapist will be there to guide you as to how to get down from the chair, uh, how to sit on the bed, how to get down from the bed, how to use the toilet. All these occupational skills will be taught to you by our team physiotherapist. Now, finally, what is the normal recovery time? And also, what are the complications of a knee replacement? Most of my patients are back to doing their activities. Um, some of them even start sport within six weeks. But every person is different and the range of return to normalcy is somewhere between four weeks to 16 to 20 weeks. It's a range because depending on how bad your arthritis was when we are doing the knee replacement, that also really matters because we are not replacing everything in the knee. We are just replacing the worn out surfaces and the ligaments in the middle. So the rest of your knee is still the same. The muscles are still the same. Your tendons are still the same. Your bones are still the same. So if they are worn out, your recovery will take longer. Now coming to the complications. Yes, like in any other surgery, knee replacements have complications. Complications can be something as simple and devastating as an infection, but we take all precautions. Uh, it's done in a completely sterile theater with all the necessary uh, methodology, which is needed to keep the theater sterile and to make sure that your infection rate is very, very less and our infection rates are very low. Apart from that, there can be loosening of the implant. There can be just a misalignment of the implant, which can cause you pain. Uh, although they are very rare, you have to know that it is possible. So overall, why and when would you do a knee replacement? See, there is always a point of diminishing returns in any disease. I, as an orthopedic surgeon, try to provide as many non-surgical options as possible. But at one point, non-surgical options are not enough. When it comes to arthritis of the knee, that happens when you are having pain at rest and when you have this deformity known as the varus deformity. So if you're somebody who's undergoing both these and in your mind you know that you can go through a knee replacement, which is not a very difficult surgery anymore because of the new advanced pain relief methods, I suggest you go to your orthopedic surgeon wherever you are and talk to him or her about a knee replacement so that you can get rid of your knee pain. All right, guys, signing off, Dr. Santosh Jacob, your orthopedic surgeon from the city of Chennai, Tamil Nadu in India. Bye-bye. Thank you.